And AJ, the Stars team has been sensational all season long. They absolutely have, and they come out strong. They had a little bit of a, a lead and egg on Thursday night. Pete DeBoer told us pregame, this has been the best line for the Stars over the last month. You know, it's interesting. Look at the way this Stars team has gone. They've had a different line carry them at different times. A little bit up and down this year, but the last month or so, he has come on so strong. So that really sets them up well, both ends of the ice. Kyler Yamamoto with a nice pass to Tomas Tatar out in front, and Ottinger stands tall on Ty Cartier. And Chris Tanev has really solidified things defensively as well. Now 18 games with the Stars. And he was a hot pickup at the deadline. Good for the Stars to get him really helped, as DeBoer said. Slot everybody where they're supposed to be with their top six. Tanev plays catch with his partner Lindell. Turned over through neutral ice. Andre Burakovsky, the Austrian winger in his second year. Now a shot from Borgen through some traffic. Ottinger spots it. Harley, 22-year-old former first-rounder who has paired so well with Miro Haskin in the second half of the season. Shot from the point, and Ottinger smothers. And a whistle. Thursday night to the Jets where they, the Dallas Stars really struggled to get out of their zone. They seem to be a little bit more in control, and half the way they're doing that is just by keeping it in the offensive zone. Centering feed and Grubauer with a good active stick. Stars are so dangerous on the rush. They lead the NHL in goals scored off the rush this year. And here they come again with Matt Duchesne. Duchesne off the hesitation. Working in net front. Oh, what a stop by Grubauer. Very successful penalty kill. And what happens is you can see Matt Duchesne makes a tiny little stutter step, which puts the defense and Brian Dumoulin off balance. And then he puts it out in front. Great job by uh, Matt Duchesne. He's a left shot to the top hand. He gets it away from his body. That's what it allows him to make that beautiful pass in front. Joe Pav is there, but what a save. Quick transition back to the end. Not giving Seattle any air in the last 20 seconds. Final 10 seconds toward the net. That shot comes in wide from Harley. Haskin in on a pinch. Robertson wheels out high with a shot. They score! Greg Smith gets a piece of it. And with 1.6 left in the first, Dallas is on the board. One of those, you just got Ottinger who plays the puck. That's what starts this. Doesn't allow Seattle. It was Jaden Schwartz was forechecking down. He goes for the change. I think Seattle at this point thinks they're just getting to the end of the game. But instead, the Dallas Stars go to work. And it's not a dangerous shot that Robertson puts to the net. You get the puck low, you get it up high, and then he sees a bunch of traffic. How about I just throw it on net? Gets deflected. York Strand in the corner. Final 10 seconds of the Seattle man advantage. Evans, the catch on the line, snaps one, got tipped, loose for Schwartz, couldn't trigger, loose to the circle, Seattle goes diving, and Fox is out of the box, and the Stars kill. Possession, they had some urgency here, weren't able to capitalize, but what a chance, best chance so far right there by Jaden Schwartz. Tanev rims it around. The 21-year-old former second-rounder Logan Stankoven emerges, bent it out in front, loose for Stankoven. Boy, he has been special these last two months. Schwartz in over the line. Feeds it across. But can denied by Ottinger. Quick outlet here is Ben. Schultz back. Ben a shot. Kicked out by Grubauer. All of a sudden it goes up and down on both ends. Stan Coven tried to win the puck, but instead it's McCann and Zumalin who exits for the Kraken. McCann's pass intended for Schwartz, who has to turn around and get to it toward the left point. Lundquist out for Johnston and moved on. Stars in off the rush. Lundquist to the back door for Foxa. Grubauer sprawling. Puck is loose, and we've got a whistle. In the crease, and we will welcome in Dave Jackson here as you get another look. At Will Borgen doing just that. Jax, what is the ruling from your vantage point? I think that's a great call. Look at that position of the referee. He's motioning right away with his free hand. He's making the motion. He's showing a hand on the puck. Covered up in the crease. You can't do that. The fourth line center for the Dallas Stars. Sam Steele moving in, and Steele is stopped by Grubauer. Eyes up, he's coming across east to west, trying to see if he can get that by the wickets open, but Grubauer shut the door. How about Philip Grubauer here in these last 
there's always been somebody carrying the load offensively for the Dallas Stars. The Hints line early, the Duchesne line early, uh, sorry, mid-season, and now it's these guys. He can start the breakout. He's just been everything that they were looking for in their lineup. He said it was the one area of weakness for our team. Well, and how about the fact that Robertson moving in, tipped on, and Grubauer goes up to make another stop. So Seattle collects with Yanni Gord, snaps one off to Brandon Tanev. The intense winger moving in, short-handed, Ottinger makes the stop, and we've got a penalty. It might be a five on three here, looks like it's Tanev just did not slow down. 15, but I think he means 13, Brandon Tanev, great job by him, a good, he dips in here, cuts in to try to try to uh, tuck the puck in. He does have some defense, and he's, he's got Rope Hint there, defender rather, trying to block him, and he just barrels over Ottinger. See, he's he's got his head up, and he just oh, he hits his head right there. Good to see Ottinger still in the net, but that whole play started. Pavelski tried to snap one through on a seam pass for Robertson. Hey, Skinner. Robertson. Robertson. Ben. Back to Robertson. Robertson scores! Two-nothing stars. To see that they spread it out. They, they didn't get five on a die too tight. They have some space. And I thought that puck was going to go all the way across to, uh, to Joe Pavelski. But instead, he goes back out to Jason Robertson, has plenty of time, and what a snipe. Duchesne with a gorgeous pass, finding Sagan, who is met defensively. And Burakovsky out the center for the Kraken. Here's Everly moving in with a shot, trying to go short side on Ottinger. Hence the intercept, trying to go through the legs on Justin Schultz. Sorry, finish that thought quickly. They do have the hunger. <laughs> oh! Robertson a shot, ends up behind Grubauer. Grubauer went sprawling, kept it out. Now Schwartz on the hop with McCann, pulls up. Oh, spinning Bjorkstrand into some space. Oh, off the iron again! Up to 80 points now. Tried to get that toward the net, didn't get all the way through. Collected by Hintz, hardly for Haskinen. Haskinen to the high slot, gets it back without a lane. Broken up by Larson. Haskinen wraps it around and scores! 3-0 Dallas. Gets a pass. He's the high guy. The F3, as I mentioned earlier, great give and go. It allows Miro Haskinen to go in, and he picks up his own block shot. He looks sort of nonchalant, right? It looks like there's not a lot of urgency, but he's able to use his length, and he comes around and he elevates it, and Grubauer almost gets it, gets a piece of it, and Haskinen buries it. Six minutes to go. It's a three-point day for Miro Haskinen with one goal and two assists. And a two-point day for Jason Robertson on this loaded star team. Off the turnover. Net front tips home. They score. Kyler Yamamoto back into the lineup. Has the Kraken on the board. Jake Andre plays it out of what he thinks is out of harm's way. And it's that four check right there. That's Ty Karche that creates that turnover. It's a heavy hit. And then they've got the, when you have the traditional four check, you got the guy on the puck, the guy backing him up, and the, the third forward going to the net. And 8 Eastern here on ABC, Penguins, Bruins, Sidney Crosby in pursuit of the playoffs. Veneer is off for McCann, and that does it. The Dallas Stars have won the Central Division for the first time since 2016.